Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today we need to make an arrangement um, for a sorority house. And so they have a large, she's an angel, um, and she's made out of metal. She's pretty heavy. And this container sits right on top of the angel. It's in their foyer. And they always like for a very long lasting arrangement to go on top. And so usually we just do lots of pretty foliage, but we like to put something fun down in the center of the container. So today, actually, um, it is baseball season here at Mississippi State University. And so, because they're going to have kind of an open house and invite people for baseball, um, we thought that we would put some fun baseballs down into this container. So I added a little bit of Israeli Ruscus. I just cut it up and I tucked it in the bottom of the container. I tucked baseballs right on top. And then I took, this is just a, um, it is one of the dishes that goes under a plastic flower pot. I picked it up at the local hardware store and I painted it gold. So when you look up underneath, it's a gold container rather than a black container. Um, I don't really think that matters very much, but I just thought it might finish it off some. I added two blocks of fresh floral foam. So I put one large block and then um, I cut it and added a couple more pieces. And then I taped it to the top of the container so it is not going to go anywhere it's taped down um, so we're going to start with a little bit of leather leaf so I'm just going to take my leather and I am just going to go all the way around this container now I'm just adding fun mixed greens Again, the reason being is because she loves, the house mom, loves for this arrangement to last a long period of time. And so, it's always fun to use pretty mixed greens in this container so that it will last. So, I'm going to go all the way around in this dish and add greenery. And I'm starting out with leather leaf. Leather leaf is not the prettiest foliage, but it's inexpensive. And so I like to use it as my base to kind of cover that container or cover that dish. Now I realize that there is tape on the top of this container, but I'm going to use some seeded eucalyptus that will drip and that will help me cover up that tape on that glass vase. So I'm just taking each of these pieces of leather and I'm cutting it and tucking it right into the foam. But you can see it's just green all the way around. All right, so I've got my leather in and I have plenty left. So if I need to come back and add more, I certainly can. But there's my leather leaf. I'm gonna wipe my hands on my pants. I'm gonna set this leather over here on the table and then I'm going to come in with some Israeli Ruscus. So, I love Israeli, and it, I, like, I love it as much as I do leather for its inexpensiveness. It's not very expensive, and so I love that fact. I am going to take the Israeli Ruscus, and I am going to cut it and just tuck it all the way around in this container. So, we just want it kind of fun and whimsical with our greenery. And so I'm just taking that floral knife and I'm cutting that greenery at an angle. And you can see, I'm just gonna get, get this to be just a really large arrangement just with greenery. So I'm just taking and stripping off some of the bottom leaves there, cutting that stem at an angle and just tucking that in. This is one of my favorite containers to work with just because she always lets me be creative and I love that. I love when you let me be creative and have fun with it. Now, um, I had someone reach out and ask, 
about an arrangement that goes, goes on the gold stands. This is exactly, I would use a dish just like this that I picked up at the store and I painted it gold. I would use this exact type of dish to go on top of a gold stand. Basically, it's exactly like me putting it on this large um, vase. So you can, and then you would add flowers. So you would use, put the floral foam in just like I did here. You would tape it to the container, make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. And then you would set it right on top of that gold container. And I'll show you how I'm gonna use some greenery to kind of drip around the side so that, so that you're not gonna see those mechanics. All right, so I've just about got my Israeli Ruskus in place. So see how much fun that is already, and it's just greenery. Um, and I'm not going to use anything except greenery, some berries, a little bit of Pussy Willow that I've painted, um, and some thistle, some blue thistle that we've painted um, to be maroon. Next, we're going to come in with our, um, let's go ahead with our line. So we got in some tinted pussy willow so pussy willow is originally white it has little white buds all the way up the stem and so we had some um, in our cooler and i thought callie actually mentioned why don't you grab the pussy willow and paint it um, burgundy and tuck it in so that's exactly what we're going to do with this so we have a burgundy um, paint and I just, it's a flower paint. Now, honestly, when working with um, branches like this and greenery and berries, you could really use a floral paint. I mean, a paint that wasn't necessary for flowers. Um, these are all very hardy um, plant materials and they would hold up just fine without, um, I mean, you not using the um, flower paint. Now, anytime you're using um, flowers, like fresh flowers, such as roses or hydrangeas or daisies or such, you're going to always want to use a paint that's made specifically for fresh flowers. But anytime you're using pretty hardy materials, plant materials, you can always just use um, paint that you got from a hardware store. But this is actually this burgundy paint is made specifically for flowers. Um, because that's what we had on hand and so that worked out wonderful. So I took each of these branches and I just cut them at an angle and I just tucked them all the way through the arrangement. Next I'm going to come in with some thistle. So this is, um, it's a blue thistle that I just popped with a little bit of maroon. So I am taking this fun um, thistle and I am just cutting it and going all the way around in this arrangement. Again, we painted this with just some maroon paint. Now we actually went to Walmart and I picked up the baseballs. I wish I had picked up just a few more. And the reason is, is because it would be fun to put the baseballs up here in the arrangement. But baseballs are not cheap, just in case you were wondering. They are not very cheap. <laughs> and so, um, we did not get more to pop in the arrangement up top. But I don't think it'll matter. It's going to be lifted up so high, I think it is just fine with the baseballs down low. But I really love how the baseballs look. Okay, so there is our thistle tucked in. Um, next, we're going to come in with some hypericum berries. So, hypericum berries do come in maroon, but I didn't happen to have maroon in the shop today. Um, we had some peach colored, and let me tell you, this is the reason I carry a lot of flower paint, is because if I don't have the right color, I can make the right color. Um, and I find that that is the most cost-effective way for floral design is because if you don't have the right color, you can paint it and make it work. So I'm just taking these Hypericum berries that we actually took out and we painted, and I am just going to kind of tuck these here and there in this arrangement. Um, 
Again, I'm not using um, fresh flowers in this arrangement strictly because she likes for it to last for weeks. And this does. If we don't put the fresh flowers in there and she keeps it well watered, and usually she does, um, it will last for weeks for her, which is so wonderful. And I tell you, there is absolutely nothing wrong whatsoever with a fresh greenery arrangement. It actually makes me happy. It makes me happy. All right. So I've gone all the way around in this container with my leather leaf, my hypericum berries, my Israeli ruscus, um, pussy willow that has been painted, um, thistle, and hypericum berries. I think I already said those. Okay, the next greenery we are going to use is going to be um, spiral eucalyptus or baby blue you. So I love the color and the fragrance of eucalyptus. And anytime you think of eucalyptus and the fragrance, it's the baby blue that you think of. Now it is a bit sappy. Um, and what I mean by that is it has quite a bit of sap and it's going to get your hands kind of sticky. So when you um, use it, if you are at all, at all allergic to eucalyptus oil, you don't need to strip it with your hands. Um, bare, you need to wear a glove of some sort so that it doesn't break your hands out. Um, it does not bother me, so I just strip it with my hands. But again, if you need to use like a gardening glove, please, please do that so that it doesn't have your hands all broken out. So I'm just taking this eucalyptus and I'm using my little floral snips and I am cutting it and I am just tucking it right into that floral foam. And it smells delightful. I love the smell of eucalyptus. All right, so. Oh, I love it. Another thing about the baby blue uke is it does have laterals where it grows um, like extra, you know, little lateral stems or branches. And so it's really a good greenery to cut into smaller pieces and tuck throughout. This is exactly how I would make an arrangement that would go on top of any kind of stand. I would make it just like this. And I, last week we actually made some arrangements that went on top of glass cylinders. And when I'm designing them, like those glass cylinders were not real feasible to design on top of. Like this vase has a really um, large mouth, so it works out really easily. Um, my arrangement's not gonna topple off. But last week, those vases were not, it wasn't real feasible to design. So I took a bucket, like a, a bucket that we add our fresh flowers into when we um, process them. And I just set those arrangements right on top of that bucket. And then I could design them and they weren't gonna fall off. Um, that works perfect and it lifts it up enough that you can make sure that you've got the greenery covering the container, all the things. All right, so there is our baby blue eucalyptus that's placed throughout. Just one more little piece over here. Okay, next I am going to use some seeded eucalyptus. And the seeded eucalyptus is actually going to cover the edge of my container. Now, I love the fact that eucalyptus has lots and lots of pieces on it. So I'm able to take my little snips and cut it apart and tuck it right down deep, right on the lip of that container. Now, I want it to kind of give us a little bit of a drip and I want it to cover 
the edge of my dish so that my dish really isn't showing. Oops. And I'm trying to cover up where I taped my dish to my container. So see how that kind of just drips off the side, which is my favorite part about eucalyptus. And it does a really good job of covering up that um, leather leaf. I like to use leather leaf just as a base of foliage, but then add lots of pretty foliages in with it so it doesn't stand out so much. But see how pretty that eucalyptus looks? So this is a very simple arrangement. It's just made with mixed greenery and mixed branches and a little bit of um, thistle and berries, um, but very, very simple, but extremely long lasting, which is to me the very best part about this type of arrangement, is that it will last for a long period of time and it will be enjoyed for quite a while. Again, they get so much for their money because it will last for several weeks as long as she keeps it watered. And there is our finished arrangement. Again, this includes Israeli Ruscus, um, Leather Leaf, Seeded Eucalyptus, Spiral Eucalyptus, Hypericum Berries, Thistle, and Pussy Willow that have all been painted maroon so that they would work for our school colors. Um, and in the bottom of the vase, I added um, a little bit of Israeli Ruscus and I cut it into small pieces and then just layered it on the bottom and then I added my baseballs. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me. If you have a question about how we do things here at our flower shop, please ask. We are so happy to answer questions for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. We would so appreciate it. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that little bell down below, and it will give you notifications for when we, um, when we have a new video up. Guys, y'all have a wonderful evening, and we will see you real soon. Thank you.